next question that was interesting as well. Do you think there's a difference in today's leaders than in past generations? And you and I are fairly close in age. Or you can also look at that from your own industry, you know, radio broadcasters, other people in your line of work. Do you think it's changed? That doesn't mean it's, it's worse or better or different. Well, I guess it could be. What are your thoughts on that? I, there's two aspects of that. Uh, one is I think leaders today are more accessible. Okay. Uh, than they have been in the past. I mean, when you watch Mad Men, you know, you see that right. they've all got their offices and their door closed and there's a chain of command and, you know, you can... Now, I have no problem walking into the general manager of my group, of my, you know, cluster of radio stations and expressing a concern or asking a question. So the access to leadership, I think, is a lot... The flow of information between leadership and, and you know, your rank and file people, at least in my building and in the other buildings okay. I've been in, is, is much better. As far as on the, on the national landscape, I think that our leaders are probably the same as they have always been, mm -hmm. but because we have the access to information that we have now, the 24-hour news cycle, we recognize that they are also imperfect beings. Mm -hmm. You know, back when FDR was president, the news media had an agreement to never photograph him in his wheelchair right. because they didn't want to make him look weak. Can you imagine the news media now? Huh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, right. you know, it, it's a different, point. the way we cover our leaders and, and the, the, the things that they probably got away with before that they cannot get away with now, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's better or worse, but they're more human mm -hmm. because of our access to information. Mm -hmm.